while the heat is on for state lawmakers to pass a new budget. As News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon explains, the deadline is now less than a week away. There's just so much at stake. And there's not much time. Lawmakers must approve a budget by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Right now, two budgets are on the table. Democrats in the House favor their one-year budget. It spends down the reserves. It has about a billion dollar structural deficit. It would leave us with enough money to run state government for about four days. The lieutenant governor says education is an essential part of the state's budget. That's why she stopped here at the campus of IPFW today to talk about it. Skillman says Indiana is one of a few states that won't cut educational funding next year, but Democrats want more money for schools than what Republicans are offering. Republicans in the Senate have passed a budget that more closely meets the governor's wishes. The budget battle has seen its usual share of name calling, namely between Governor Daniels and House Speaker Pat Bauer. The latest round has the governor saying that Bauer seeks to, quote, blackmail the state into bankruptcy. He is the boss of all bosses. And if you cross him, you'll spend the rest, you may spend the rest of your career on the back bench. Well, you like to say the word boss. Um, well, I don't. I think that's because he doesn't get any what he wants, and he's the kind of person who apparently always got what he wanted. The governor says the main thing he wants is a balanced budget that won't touch the state's roughly billion-dollar surplus. Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15. If a budget isn't passed, a government shutdown could result, and both Bauer and the governor are already placing blame if that happens. Meanwhile, Skillman says she is optimistic that won't be the case, citing a similar situation in 1993 when a budget was passed just five minutes before the deadline.